Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 151 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where I'm chilling in the end. Aha! Uh, remember last episode when we were playing with Tinkers? Yeah, buddy. It's time for more tinkering with Tinkers Construct. Uh, I've got myself out in the end to find a dragon head. So remember, dragon heads are not gotten by killing the dragon in Minecraft. You have to find one of those flying ships in the end, and there should be a dragon head on it. So you still have to kill the dragon, unless you have creative flight for mods, right? If you're in, you know, from, from some other, if you're not playing with any creative flight mode, then you need to kill the dragon to open the portal so you can throw the ender pearls through the thing to get to the islands that potentially have these things spawning on them, right? Um, but, you know, if you have creative flight, then technically I don't think you have to kill the dragon to get out to the islands. Um, and that's that. So, dragon head, easy peasy. Wanted to get that on camera real quick. Uh, I might spend some time flying around and finding another dragon head, but we'll see. Um, I would like to, because I'm thinking, I mean, we'll see. I don't know if I really need to or not. Um, dragon heads, remember, add an extra ability slot, which is cool. Um, I'm not sure if we need an extra ability slot on our weapons. We'll probably have to look through the weapons abilities to find out what you know would make sense but the gist is meh that's it meh we'll see let's pop home with our one dragon head that we've got and then you know figure it out from there so you are good to go sir um so what we want to do is get our um our fancy little hammer that we made last episode and i believe it was something like this this and this right and that will get me expanded one cool that's neat um now i'm assuming i'm assuming that i can't do this right need at least one ability slot to add this modifier right so we don't have any more ability slots which makes sense but now we've got expanded one tools area effect is larger than it was before so let's go see what's involved in that bad boy It's a three by five? I don't love that. I don't love that. I don't know if I love that so much. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. But I was hoping for five by five, not three by five. Well, let's see what happens when we put our dragon head on there. So that's going to add another ability slot, which is cool. Um, and then we should be able to do this, this, and that, and that'll be expanded too, which should be the most we can do. Because I think the only additional ability slot is from the dragon head, right? We can probably validate that in the materials in U-Book. Um, music. So that adds extra upgrades. I don't see a lot in here about abilities. So I'm thinking that might be somewhere else that we had to find that information. Uh, but what do we got here? So this is five by five, but it's my least favorite five by five because it does center it around the block you're looking at rather than here being up three, down one. Up three, down one is 100% where it's at, right? Like that's what you want. You want up three, down one. You don't, you don't want up two, down two. That is not the kind of mining that you want to happen. So, so we figured out that, in my opinion, I like the flux bore better than the hammer from Tinkers. Mostly because I would say that the flux bore, it's mostly about the plus three, minus one on the Y level when you're mining. Also, it can obviously go up to 7x7 seven seven and ultimately 9x9 nine nine if you really, you know, go go ham on the upgrades for the Flux Bore. But I would say not bad. Not bad. It's just my personal preference that I like the plus 3 minus 1 versus the plus 2 minus 2. And I think most hammer-like mods that do more than a 3x3 three three clearing area work that way. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. So hammer done. Cool. Not bad, not great, not terrible. And the pickaxe is cool too. 100% if we were starting fresh in a world, I would absolutely be all about these tools, right? But obviously we're on episode 151 here. So I've 
I've got a few other options. Uh, but I do want to check out the sword, because I feel like the sword should be pretty nice. I do want to check that bad boy out. So we've got a block of hepatizin available in here, so why don't we just pour all of that out? And... Yeah. Right? How cool is that? How cool is that? Harden that stuff up. Perfect. Nice. And then I could turn you into ingots if I so choose. So let's move on from where we're at currently and check out weaponry. So for that, we're going to need monulin ingots. So we're going to need probably a hefty amount. But netherite scrap, if we look in here, it's probably the same. I would imagine it's the same ratio, right? One ingot to three ingots of cobalt equals four ingots of manulin. So ancient debris, we've got a pretty good amount of. I think we're good on ancient debris. That's accounting for like the past hundred episodes or so where I've been running that laser in the nether. I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. So let's do three of you and one of you and see how this plays out. So yeah, what's interesting is the progress bars don't show up until you close and reopen the UI. Then they show up and update in real time. So that's interesting. So there's your three. So how much ancient debris, the smelter thingy? I assume that's, you know, gonna work. Eight ingots. Okay, so ancient debris in here does or double. That was my that was my question. Does ancient debris or double? And the answer is yes. You get two ingots worth of molten debris, which you can then uh, cast into with an ingot cast. One ingot equals netherite scrap. So you can or double ancient debris in this dude. Cool. Today we learned. Today we learned how that works. All right, so first things first, we're going to try the sword, and then we're going to do the beheader next, right? So for a sword, we need, actually, it's two handles now? Oh, that's different, right? Didn't it used to be a binding here? I feel like it used to be a binding here. I feel like it used to be a binding here. Where's my tier four materials book? There he is. No, that's mighty smelting. I want the shenanigan smelting. That's not really what the book is called. Fantastic Foundry. Right? So we're actually going to... I wonder how the modifier, the attack damage modifier is going to be on this. But that's interesting. Because we're going to have two handles. Okay. I'm down. I'm down for two handles. All right. So tool rod, we want two of. And then a normal sword blade. So one. Whoosh. Two. Okay. And then the sword blade. Works for me. Cool. And then we should have no problem doing you, you, and you. Nice. Okay. So that's going to be insatiable three. So our total attack damage there is going to be 9.73. I'm comparing it to my osmium sword. Um, so that thing's got 10 attack damage, but it has plus 20% on it um that's cool and his attack speed is 1.6 so not bad i bet i could speed him up with redstone i wonder i wonder if i could we're gonna find that out though but first things first you always want looting and or fortune because yes right so there's luck three boom right and i'm gonna put my my osmium sword which has which has served me well these these hundred plus episodes when did i get that osmium sword like episode 10 or less probably somewhere around there now um let's flip through the book just to make sure that there's nothing worth missing obviously quartz right uh i assume uh would be the modifier that we want to do uh let's see one upgrade slot reinforced required to Boosts durability, attack damage, mining speed, and makes it immune to external damage such as fire or lava. Requires an upgrade slot. That's a netherite ingot. I'm curious. Let's compare the damage upgrade, right? Um, let me just get like 10 of these guys. You only need one because, so you need to have diamond on there and you can only put one at a time um, in total. But let's compare that with the quartz upgrade, right? So harvest upgrades, that's these guys. Weapon upgrades, 
Um, this kills aquatic creatures faster. Bane of Arthropods, obviously spiders. Um, increases damage to fire-based creatures. Burn on hit, knockback, lifesteal, piercing and sharpness. This ignores armor. This increases your damage. So sharpness is probably where we want to be, right? Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So let's get sharpness. Or quartz, I mean, obviously. Boop, 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 boop. We're going to want a bunch of that. So let's compare you. So if we put one upgrade modifier's worth of sharpness on you, your attack is 10.73, right? 10.73. With a diamond, it's 10.23. But it also adds to durability. Okay. So if you only care about sharpness then or, or damage, I should say, then quartz is where you want to be, okay? So that's cool. And I'm wondering how far sharp can go. That's going to be my first and last question. So that's going to be sharp one. Sharper, this will be sharp two. Okay. Now what's interesting is he has an ability left. Wasn't luck an ability on the pickaxe? I feel like it was. But let's get our let's get our head, right? Uh, our skull. And let's also get a writable book. Right? Because both of these will give me another modifier slot. Right? So now we've got two upgrades available. Now we can get sharpest. Sharpester. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I can't imagine anything else I want besides sharpness, right? Now, like I said, we could maybe consider redstone on there, which would mean you could swing it faster, right? Haste, so attack speed goes up. Okay, that's not bad, not bad. But I really like, I really like, I wanna see how, like, how ridiculously sharp we can make it. Right? So this will be another plus one. This is plus a half, right? So diamond is 0.5 attack damage. Another tier of sharpness is plus one. So let's just go like as ridiculous as we can, right? So we've still got an ability slot. We've still got an ability slot. Let's look at what other inch, uh, things we can do. So one thing we could do which is cool, is Gilded. Trades an ability slot for two upgrade slots. So that's a thing. That's a thing, right? Um, I don't need the area of effect. Tool can place glow balls while crouching, consuming durability. Interesting. So luck should have been an ability, right? Melts attacked items and entity dropped, can reach further, unbreakable. Um, this is the creative upgrades. So uh, the dragon head will give us another ability slot, which we might consider, right? But uh, if we have a music disc, that'll give us another upgrade slot. And an end crystal, right? Music disc and end crystal would be the ones that I haven't done here yet, right? So do we have any music discs? We have lots. Music disc and end crystal. Okay, so that's gonna be upgrade one. Resurrected, respawns one of this tool's upgrade slots. I don't know, I guess it's just, that's it, right? So how far can we push this Sharpestest. Sharpness cannot go above level five. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So now if we really wanted to go even further with the sharpiness, we could throw our diamond upgrade on there at this point, and this will bump us up to 15.23. Okay. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we might want to do. Because I want to see, like, how ridiculous we can make this sword, right? 
Life steal sounds fun, but not necessary. I just want to kill things as fast as possible. As fast as possible. So I think what I might do, what I might do is this, and this will be my last upgrade slot, but, but, I can do a golden apple. And this will remove an ability slot. See, abilities one becomes upgrades two. Right? And then we can throw a netherite ingot on there, which, wow, really boosts up. So when you do the netherite tier, that really boosts it. Harness the power of ancient metal, making it stronger and immune to external damage to fire. So actually, where diamond isn't as good, netherite makes up for it. Because that's a plus 3.5. So... Diamond plus netherite in total is plus four. And two attributes of sharpest is plus two. So diamond by itself is not as good as quartz, but diamond plus netherite is better than two sets of quartz. Does that make sense? So that's 100% cool. And we still have an upgrade slot available. So let me just see what other upgrades might be available. I'm going to go backwards, right? Soulbound... Tank, sharp, smite, reinforced, sharp. Is there a difference? I would imagine it's not a difference. So I'm just going to check cactus. So yeah, that just adds piercing damage. So that, I assume, means that it'll do more damage. So I think redstone might be the way to go here. So that it can swing faster? That sound cool? Now, technically, what I could do, if I really wanted to go for broke, we could go find another dragon head, add an ability, then do another golden apple for two more upgrades, and that would be as far as you can push this upgrade system, is my understanding. So let's do this for the speed, and then we're going to see that in total, this guy has 18.62 attack damage. Whoo, that, that is some business. That is a little bit better than the 10 that we have on this Osmium Sword. 18.62. Now, I mean, it's obviously not as ridiculously OP, which in fairness, this is pretty ridiculously OP. 46 attack damage, right? It's not an Infinity Hammer, okay? But the Infinity Hammer is a little broken. Can we all agree that 46 attack damage at the stage that we earned it is a little bit broken? Is just a little bit broken. Now I'm curious, actually. Now that I was thinking about it, I'm just curious. Did Nether Stars do anything? They used to give you another upgrade, but no. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Um, so what I'm thinking is we could totally put a little bit more redstone on this to make it swing faster. But I can't think of anything else I would like to have as an upgrade on this thing. Uh, so I think this is pretty much good, right? Yeah, he recovers quick. His attack speed, yeah, that, recover, that, that recovers pretty quickly. Let's fly out to somewhere with monsters and we'll try it out. But in theory, it should do, you know, almost 10 hearts of damage, right? Almost. It should one-shot most things. And it, and it very much does one-shot most things. Pretty quickly, too. Pretty quickly one-shots most things. What are you even? Spellbreaker from Mana and Artifice. Yeah. That thing had a lot of health, and it one sh and it, and it two-shot it, but, like, pretty close to one-shot it. Letting a zombie dry up in the sun. It would be funny if that worked. I don't understand. Oh, it's the husk statue. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what achievement did I just get? Yeah, look at this. We are one-shotting all the things. I like it. I like this sword. Well, you guys... I mean, this is definitely better than any other weapon I've gotten thus far. Excluding, like I said, the shenanigans that are the Infinity Hammer. Which, also, by the way, is a really slow weapon. Really slow. Right? So that's... That might be a keeper. I feel like that's a keeper. I feel like that's definitely a keeper. The the Hepatizen Pickaxe? 
not great, not terrible, right? Pretty on par with the Flux Bore, which is fine, right? Tinkers versus Flux Bore. Like, I would, I would 100% use this. Um, but the Flux Bore definitely wins out over the Hammer, right? It's much better in that regard. But the Manual and Sword we've got here? Pretty darn good. That might be the best weapon we've gotten thus far. I like it. All right, so next step is I want to check out the Giant Sword. Um, you know... Just see what it's like. So I definitely like the new Tinkers. There's some there's some cool stuff going on here. If uh, if I do say so myself, I think it's I think it's pretty slick. Um, I very much like this sword. This thing is like ridiculously OP, and I love it. The Netherite is really what put it over the top. So you do need to get Netherite in order to make this thing ridiculous. Um, but that's not that hard to get, even in vanilla, right? So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So now let's go check out making one of these fancy bad boys, right? Boom, 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 right? And that's going to be a pretty ridiculous thing. Now that's going to have beheading two right off, right, right out of the gate. It's going to have beheading two, and its attack is really good too. Look at that; its attack is sixteen point eighteen. So right out of the gate, it's already got a lot of damage. Its attack speed is a little bit low. But redstone's a thing, right? So we could deal with that. Not a lot of upgrade slot or ability slots, but we'll also manage that. So should we throw looting on here in addition to beheading? Because looting would also, uh, you know, adjust the, the the head drops, I feel like, right? So if I did that, that'll give us luck three, and that'll use the ability <laughs> slot that it had. So did the, did the manual and sword have two ability slots? Is that what it was? Because I feel like when I put when I put luck on, it should have used an ability slot, but there was one after. Yeah, so I think that might be a thing. Um, now we get two upgrade slots. So what do we get by way of beheading? Because I'm I'm assuming there's a beheading upgrade. Let's go back to the chaptery bit. There it is. Um, so weapon beheading. Beheading, beheading, beheading. Is beheading not an upgrade? Is that no longer a thing? Let's check out what upgrades can go on here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip through and see if beheading is a thing. It is, beheading is definitely a thing. Check JEI because some of these things are not in the book. So we need a copper ingot, two necrotic bone, and TNT. Okay, so copper ingot. Two necrotic bone and TNT. Um, I don't know how many levels of beheading exist, so we're gonna figure that out together a little bit. Uh, let's also like max upgrade this thing, right? So we're gonna want an end crystal, right? We're gonna want a music disc. You know me, I'm not super concerned about music discs, so I'm cool. Um, Wither Skeleton Skull, writable book, and that's it, right? It's four potential upgrades, unless you count the dragon, right? So it's music disc, head, and crystal writable, and unless you count the dragon, you're good, right? So we can do that, and that'll be upgrades three. We can do that, and that'll be upgrades four, five, six. Of course, you could also count um, the creative upgrades if you were cheating, but I'm not cheating, so I don't count that. So I'll be heading three, four. That's it. So be heading, no, five, six, <laughs> seven. Beheading level cannot be above. Okay, cool. So that's max beheading. So now we know how high beheading can go. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> Yeah. Do love, do love new sword. Do love. Now, how many upgrades do we have left? One. So we can make it attack a little faster or do a little bit more damage. Those are kind of your options. Wish I had two upgrades. Um, you know, I could make it. I could make it three upgrades if I went and got a dragon head. Just say, just saying, just saying. It could be two upgrades if I got a dragon head. You know? Like, part of me really wants to go get one. I might go look. I'm gonna go look real quick. If I can find a quickie dragon head, I would be happy. If I could find a quickie dragon head, I would be a happy dyer. 
Where am I going? Doesn't seem to matter, right? Just, just wander the end until you find... We'll be back. Found one! Hello, Dragonhead. How are you? Perfect. Perfect! To the home we go. I think that's actually a, a, a thing that I already had on my map, so that's cool. All right, so then Dragonhead can go in here. That gives me another ability slot, but I don't want another ability slot, so I'm going to get myself a golden apple, which I can then use, and we've got three upgrade slots available. Nice. So now what I might do is another diamond and netherite ingot, and... Then the question is, what's more important to me, speed or damage? Right? Wow, 21.03. That's a lot of... That's even more attack damage, right? The speed is the slowness. The slowness of the thing is probably the concern. I mean, I would say that if you're over 20 damage, at this point I would say redstone. We'll throw, let's throw just a little bit of redstone on there, because why not, right? Why not? That'll bring our attack speed up by almost a whole point, right? 10% faster, I guess you could say. Whatever. That sounds cool. All right. Neato burrito. So I'm just curious, between beheading 7 and luck 3, how many heads are we going to get? How many heads are we going to get with this bananas-ness? Now, I know that we can frequently find... Um, Wither Skeletons over by our Blaze spawner or two. So what I'm going to do is we're going to kill one Wither Skeleton. Hello, sir. No. Okay. Let's see how many skulls we get. Boom. For one kill, we got one skull. I'm just wondering if it's possible to get more than one skull at a time these days. It's not looking like it, right? Not looking like it. Remember back in the day, you used to be able to get like five skulls or something for a kill? I mean, we did pretty good there. I don't know what our chances of getting a skull is, but I mean, we definitely got three out of four. So, uh, you know, you can't say that that's 25%, right? Or uh, 75%, I mean, you can't say that. But it looks pretty high. Probably around 80 ish, is what I would say. At a spitballs guess. Well, it could be 90, and I'm just, you know, had a couple bad luck runs there, right? Oh, a couple good luck runs. Uh, yeah, maybe they were good luck runs, not bad luck runs, is what I'm saying. Because those weren't great. But still, lots of skulls. Not bad. Wither skeletons, where are you? There's a few more. Yeah, I, I would put it somewhere around... I would probably put it somewhere around 75%. Give or take. Give or take 75% chance to get a Weather Skeleton Skull with that beheading and looting going on. Which is fine by me. That is really quite nice. I like it. I like it. Not to mention the 20-ish attack damage, which is pretty cool. That is really cool. All right, so I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a good wrapping up point for uh, the Tinker stuff. So we got 10 ingots left in here. Uh, I don't know if I ever made the ingot cast, but I probably could, right? Get two pieces of gold. I think the ingot cast I kind of skipped, right? But I do that, we melt down the gold. Make sure gold's on the bottom. Make the ingot cast, get our manual and brick. Cool. And then Bob's your uncle. Looks good to me. All right, so that I'm gonna call a wrapping up point for this episode. Uh, I think that's pretty good for Tinker stuff, right? So the only upgrades I could apply to the manual and sword at this point, if I got another dragon head, I could get two more levels of haste and make it swing faster, but that's about it. And then for the beheading sword, it's pretty nice. Like, we have a really strong chance to get heads. So I'm gonna hang on to these guys. 
Uh, cause I don't think there's a lot else in this mod pack that makes it easy to get heads. So having the beheading sword is kind of cool. And I think this replaces my Osmium sword at this point. Like as cool as Tetra is, um, there's just the, the, the current stats of the manual and sword outdo the Osmium sword. Now that said, it's possible, possible that Tetra has, uh, maybe a manual and component. We could look real quick just to see. It's been forever since I looked at this. I don't even know how this works. I forget how Tetra works completely, the workbench. I completely forget how this thing works. Bone reinforced fuller. Osmium blade. Can I do something with this? I forget. I forget how this works completely. It's been so long since I played with with this thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it accepts manual in at this point. I think that's what that means. I think that's what that means. Maybe at some point it will, but I think for now it doesn't look like I can use manual in there, right? Might be wrong. Yeah, I don't remember how to start with making it. I don't remember at all. When was the last time I used a Tetra? Episode 8? Like, I don't even know. But for now, I think it's wrapping up point. So now we're 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time and figure out some more stuff to do. I'm not sure what, but we'll figure it out. There's still some mods we haven't checked out yet, right? Um, there's there's the new compact machines. Maybe we're checking that out. Uh, and a few other things that I don't think I've... I, there's a few mods that I know for sure that we haven't touched on. So we're going to have to figure it out. But yeah, we will. We will. So compact machines, extreme reactors... Uh, we could always do a Void Dimension Reliquary we haven't touched. Um, so those are a couple mods that we haven't seen yet at all. And it wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. For now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.